Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 29th of July 2015 and I'm going to do a video blog for you, a short video blog. And I hope you enjoy it. If you came across somebody who was uncontrollably sneezing, coughing, they had a fever, their nose was running, they were obviously sick, right? Their body was stricken with sickness. And if that person started to get close to you while they were coughing and sneezing with their fever, and they started like come close to you, give you a hug or a kiss or sit with you on the couch or something, you would be very wary of them, right? Because you could see the symptoms and you knew that their sickness can spread to you, right? Your body is designed with an immune system that fights off disease. However, when the walking disease of a human being walks up to you and actively puts their germs on you, your immune system sometimes can fail. Most often it does if a person is fucking sneezing on you and, you know, making out with someone who's sick all the time and shit, right? Because then you're just transferring the, the, the germs. And so each one of us would do everything logically that we know to protect ourselves from the sickness. In fact, if you had a child around and a person like that was around them and it was your child or your niece or your nephew, in my case, my niece, you would not let that person anywhere near your child, right? I wouldn't. If the person insisted on getting close, they would have to be told, no, you need to back off right now. Now, that's very obvious. If they were eating, let's say, cereal, and like, would you like, would you like some? <laughs> and then they gave you from their own spoon, you obviously wouldn't eat it if you're an intelligent human being because you don't want their germs on you. We're good. You understand? You know where we're going because you read my status earlier? Good. Now hear it delivered properly in my voice from my frequency to you. There's another kind of sickness. And it's the sickness of the mind. And there are symptoms, just like there's fevers. Right? Coughing, sneezing, runny nose. Sounds like a night cool commercial. <laughs> there are diseases of the mind. And there are some symptoms that you should know. One of those symptoms that you should right away recognize is when a person is being negative. I don't mean that they don't, uh, people that think there's nothing bad in the world. Obviously, I'm not one of those people. Obviously, I'm not. Obviously, it says fuck you on my eyelids. And obviously, anybody that knows me, I'm very outspoken against things that I believe are not right. I'm not saying that there is nothing bad. I'm saying when a person is being negative, when I myself, if I catch myself in a negative mode, I excuse myself from people. Because I don't want to infect them with that. And... All of my girls know if they're going to be negative around me, that's a what? A no. Handle it quick or get away from me because your negativity can spread. And negativity is a sign of an unhealthy mindset. This doesn't mean you can't get upset through your day. We all live lives on planet Earth. And the more things you do, the more things, more, more movement in life to upset you. But upset is different than being negative. That's why I said being negative. Doesn't necessarily mean saying some being. There are some people that are negative. Have you not seen it? Have you not seen it? You need to be aware of people with a negative mindset. You need to be aware, another symptom of this, you need to be aware of people that complain. Complaining 
is a disease of the mind. The reality is that there's nothing to complain about. There are things that you should act towards to fix. There are things that you should not give your attention to because they would use your attention to exist in the world. So don't give those things attention. But there's nothing to complain about, especially if you're an adult, right? What are you complaining about? What are you, what are you trying to do? You trying to get someone to solve your problem? Complaining is a disease of the mind, and people who complain, we could do a we could do a group study. You know, I am a social scientist, one of the best in the entire planet. And you get a group of people together, you throw a complainer in there and let them complain. And don't let anybody else stop them. The whole group will start complaining. It's called group think, right? Mob mentality. Nothing comes positive from that ship. Negative people and complainers. It's like a sub-category sub, um, of negativity because it all comes under negativity, right? What else? Anybody who spreads any kind of rumor, a rumor, a statement made up to upset or harm another individual, group, country, nation, for the sole purpose of creating upset, that would be a rumor, right? Those people are diseases. Stay away from people who do this. You need to understand that your state of mind is riding on it. They're coughing on you. They're sneezing on you. They're trying to share a fucking spoon. Here's a rumor. You talk about it. Here, eat from my spoon. No, thank you. No, thank you, bitch. If you take a look at those three things we just talked about, and I'm sure you can come up with other other uh, examples, right? I'm not here to give you all examples. I'm here to bring to your attention that the way you stay away from people who have a physical ailment who would get you sick, you would do very well to also guard yourself against people who are mentally making you sick because they will make you upset. They will make you depressed. They will make you angry. They, they, they're good. they can ruin your whole day. They can ruin your week, your month, year, and some people's lives are ruined because they're surrounded by those negative motherfuckers. If I wouldn't allow somebody with a sickness to be around uh, a child, that means any of my students at the IMC, we have a lot of children. We do have the best children's program anywhere in the world. You watch. Talk to anybody who has their kids in my academy. If I wouldn't allow somebody with a sickness to be there, I definitely won't allow somebody with a negative state of mind to be around children either. In fact, that to me is more important because a sickness, your body will fight it. But a negativity that enters into your head, a limiting belief, you can keep for the rest of your life. You can go to your grave with a limiting belief. And I work with that, with people. I know what it takes. I know what it takes. Don't allow them around your children. Now, one of the things that I see when I go on my Facebook, which is one of the first activities I do in the day, and throughout the day, I mean, I use my Facebook as a major communication uh, medium between me and the rest of the world. There's something called the news feed. When I see videos of upsetting things, things that I don't want to see because I'm not doing anything about it. It's not part of my life. I don't need to see an African child starving with one leg and be told, at least be thankful you have two legs. That's not the news for me. I don't change the channel. I mean, I change the channel at that moment. I don't put the channel on that. I delete people who do that because I want my attention when I look at the news Things that inspire me, that motivate me, that keep me focused, that keep me winning in life, that keep my ambitions high, my confidence godlike, and just keep moving forward in my communication, powerful and effective. Some of you go through your Facebooks and you get upset. I don't. I love my Facebook because it's all my friends and fans. And I have the smartest friends and fans in the world because these are people who are doing things in life. 
achieving things in life. We have similar goals and purposes. Okay? So you would do well to get rid of that shit too. Okay? And on a final note, on a final note, I think something should be said and addressed. Uh, I want you to recognize something. Let's say you have somebody talking shit about you, right? If you're anybody who's doing anything in life, you have somebody talking shit about you, right? I want you to recognize that if they talk shit for day number one, day number two, three days, they spend their energy talking shit about you. Day number four. Work this out for yourself. Five. A week passes, and they're still talking shit about you. Do you understand how foolish they look? Do you understand that something like that can't last? And that your reaction to it is what keeps it going? Right? Very recently, in one of these um, private groups on Facebook, that talks about lifestyle, seduction, relationships. It's a men and woman group. It's not just a men's group. Um, somebody had commented, said something positive about me. They said they had never uh, really watched any of my stuff. They watched something. They really enjoyed it. Basically, just a positive comment, right? That, that They just stated that. And suddenly, some guy, I'm sure you guys are watching this. You know who I'm talking about. If This is probably going to be posted in that group. Started going crazy about me. How I'm this, I'm that, made up a bunch of shit. And of course I saw it. A lot of people came and attacked him. And I'm watching this conversation. Day number one. Day number two. Day number three. Day number four. That person started to look absolutely insane. And then the person came back was like, okay, okay, everybody. That's it. This thread is, the thread, T-H-R-E-A-D, is over. So do yourself a favor. Keep your mind sharp and focused. Stay positive. Fuck haters. Be the best. And fuck the rest. IMC Nation.